Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get down to business. As you know, it's the end of the tax year. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's time to announce our candidates who are up for promotion this year. First person up for promotion is... Alex! <laughs> and the second of our hard-working employees to be nominated is... Bruce! The results will be announced tomorrow. So, very best of luck to all of you. Meeting adjourned. <coughs> well done, Bruce. It's a pleasure to be running against you for the promotion. Thanks. Congratulations on being nominated. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious that your hard work's been noticed around here. You've been great to me since I started last year. Not at all. Look. I know how difficult it has been a new boy. I'm glad to help. Let me buy you a coffee. That's the least I can do. The least you could do is buy me a pint. Look, seriously, I've got to get back home to the wife. It's my wee girl's parents' night, and I can't miss that. I'll speak to you in the morning. Cheers. I'm sorry, I'm as late as it is. It'll only take two and a half minutes. What will? Time is short for your wife and daughter. Unless you join me in this car, it's very interesting. Explain yourself, what's this all about? Listen carefully, Mr. McDonald. My employer would be very upset if you were to be eliminated before this job was done. All right, what's this all about? Explain yourself. It's very simple, Mr. McDonald. My employer has been watching you for a while and he thinks that you're right for this job. What job would that be? To take this man out the picture. Oh God, what has he done wrong? He's an innocent young man. He borrowed money from the wrong people. I won't do it. You can't make me do anything. <clears throat> Your wife and daughter are being held for the time being. One phone call and they will be killed or released. What happens to them now is up to you. Why should I believe you? I'm a very honest man, Mr. McDonald. You'll find that out soon enough. Mr. Thompson's address is in the, the envelope. You have half an hour to decide. And you'll be needing this. Alex, I didn't expect to see you here. I thought you had that parents' evening thing. I decided to let the wife do it. Look, I was wondering, why is that coffee now? There's something wrong, isn't there? No. What makes you say that? I can tell. You've fallen out of your wife, haven't you? Come in. Come on. Let me get that coffee. Just make yourself at home. Sorry to hear you're having trouble with your wife. It's just a wee bit. It's just a tiff. 
go over it. To be honest, me and Tina have had some serious fallouts recently. What with the baby in the way? When is she due? A couple of months. Such a relief to get this promotion. I can understand that. <laughs> Look, don't get me wrong. I hope you get it too. It's just I hope that I get it a bit more. Is that how long you've been married? Ten years to September. I'm really sorry, Bruce. What's going on? We can talk about this. Alice, put the gun down, please. Put the gun down, please! I can't! They have my wife. Who? They have my daughter. Who has them? We'll go to the police. We'll get them back. So sorry, Bruce. Alex. So sorry, Bruce. Excellent work, Mr. McDonald. Your wife and daughter are waiting for you. Good night.